Hey guys, this is Brim with Sonic Electronics and today we're going to be showing you how to wire one dual 2 ohm subwoofer in series to a 4 ohm final impedance. So here we have our MVX dual 2 ohm sub and one way to verify that it is a dual voice coil is by looking at the basket on each side you're going to see two sets of terminals, two positives and two negatives. Now you can read the impedance of each coil just to verify that it is a 2 ohm woofer prior to wiring that subwoofer and in order to do that we need our meter and on our meter you'll see an ohm setting or resistance setting, I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. Okay, I'm going to take our test leads here and attach it to one of the voice coils. And you'll notice we have a 2 ohm final impedance. Now I may fluctuate between like a 0.1, a 0.2, don't worry. Round up to the highest number, you'll know it. it's a 2 ohm load. Now, make sure the woofer is also facing up because if I touch it, you'll see the voice coil will actually move and in change the impedance, makes it fluctuate. So now we're ready to wire our woofer up. Now, in this particular application, we're going to be wiring in series to increase the impedance to 4 ohms. In order to do that, we need one jumper and our set of wires that will be actually going from the remaining coils of the woofer to the box terminal on the inside of your enclosure. Now, when we series a woofer, we're going to be joining one positive from voice coil 1 with a negative from voice coil 2. So let's go ahead and do that. Once we've series the coils together, the remaining coils that we have left over, which is just positive and negative on each side, are going to go to our box terminal with this jumper cable from the box terminal to your amplifier outputs. So I'm going to go ahead and attach what we have left over, positive to negative on the remaining coils. So now we've successfully wired this woofer in series. So now it's time to test our woofer to verify our impedance. I'm just going to go ahead and take our test leads here from the meter attach them to the wires that will be going to the box terminal on the inside of your enclosure and it should be right around 4 ohms. Perfect. So your reading may fluctuate within a couple points as long as it's close to that 4 ohm reading we are golden. So again that's how you wire your dual 2 ohm subwoofer in series to a 4 ohm final impedance. This is Brennan with Sonic Electronics your source for everything car audio.